Hey boys, what is going on? Welcome back. This is your boy, Statistically Challenged. Today I'm going to show you five of the potential best free-to-play moneymakers in old school RuneScape for 2021. We have a whole playlist where we made this for the years previous. I've taken quite the break away from the game, but I'm ready to come back and do some juicy content. So without further ado, let's get started. For method number one, what we're going to be doing is Last Man Standing, a mini game that is actually now free to play, which in my previous videos wasn't. What you're going to do is you're going to click the quest tab and then you're going to hit the red quest icon, which are the mini games. You're going to scroll down and you're going to find Last Man Standing and then you're just going to hit teleport. You can do this on a fresh level three account. Phew. Once you are here, you're going to come to the north building with the red mini game icon and you once you go through the dialogue, she'll let you play, but you have to first go to a last man standing world. So you're gonna open up your world hopper and look for the one that says LMS competitive. Currently it's world 326 and hop over there. And once you are here, you are going to be able to just pass through and just start playing the mini game. There are a ton, as you can see, of bots that play this mini game. So even if you're a new player and you're really bad at this, you'll get good really quick. And even if you're bad, you will win games because there are a lot of bots that just go in and die. All you have to do once you're here is pass through the gate and you will instantly be put into a game. There are so many bots coming in at a time that game is basically instantly start. Each game is made of 24 players, but as you can see, I'm instantly the sixth last survivor and this will go down to only two and then I will kill the final bot and win the game in only about three minutes time because the bots just log out. It's just so weird. But you're gonna see how much profit we make in literally two minutes of this last man standing game so the match literally started with me being the second player alive and i'm pretty sure this is a bot and it's literally letting me just kill it and look i just got five points this guy already said all of the goddamn bots i'm not complaining i just literally spent three minutes getting five points and i'm gonna just show you what that five points buys you right now so i just spent three minutes doing nothing killing a bot in last man standing and I just got 45k. This is the best money maker. This is actually better than some of the members' money makers. Come abuse this right now. It is absolutely insane. This might be a mil an hour if you just are very focused and just get into these bot games. All right, let's move on to method number two. But before we do that, a quick word from today's video sponsor, NordVPN. If you guys don't already have a VPN, then you better listen up because this thing is a lifesaver. What does it do you ask? Well, to put it simply, a VPN encrypts your internet traffic and hides your IP location from bad guys like him. If you value your privacy and online security, NordVPN has you covered. If you want to watch American Netflix, NordVPN has you covered. If you want to watch YouTube in China, NordVPN has you covered. No one can see what you are doing online, which nowadays is super valuable with all of the third-party apps spying on your data. Luckily for you guys, I've partnered with NordVPN for their special offer, which gets you a two-year plan with a huge discount plus one month additionally free. Use the link in the description of the video and use code statistically at checkout to get this deal. Thanks again to NordVPN. Now let's jump right back into the content. All right, so for method two, what we're going to be doing is killing Ogress Warriors, which is a pretty thick monster with some juicy lootations for free to play. And if you farm these, you can make some decent GP per hour. For this, though, there are, however, a couple requirements. I do recommend 40 plus range or some decent melee stats. If you have high alchemy, bring it with you along with some lobsters or swordfish or trouts. It doesn't really matter. You can safe spot these with range. You are going to have to start the Corsair Curse, which is a quest which allows you to take this ship with cabin boy colin once you have everything you need and you've started the corsair curse come over here to west of remington onto this dock right here you are going to click travel on cabin boy colin on the dock and he's going to bring you to corsair island once you're here you're just going to run north off the ship there's going to be a bank over here which you can do all of your banking for f you're going to run west of the bank where on the mini map you will see a dungeon symbol the Corsair Cove dungeon. Simply enter the hole here and you'll instantly be able to start farming these and you can actually safe spot them right here by the vine ladder if you simply just walk one square of this one square north of this gap 
and that's all you need to do you can afk watch something while just attacking these guys and they die pretty quickly once you kill them pick up your arrows and if you want to make maximum profit you can pick up the big bones as well and just bank the ogress warriors are around 50 to 100k plus depending on your range level a really good way to get xp and money at the same time would highly recommend these all right guys for method three we're going to be using the super top secret even though i've put it in like three videos in the past it's still one of the best free to play money makers using a shop in my opinion you are going to come to the city of falador on the map you're going to run southwest of the main city square until you find the jeweler store and you're going to trade herquin as you can see he has a sapphire that's cut and an uncut sapphire in the store what you're going to do is you're going to buy both from one world if you were to sell these on the grand exchange they would both sell for higher i only spent around 275 gp from the store and now the profit is instantly like 400 gp so you just gotta keep buying the sapphires and then hop worlds and keep cycling the worlds until you fill your inventory and can bank you can actually hop worlds very quickly and no one seems to be doing this right now which is very surprising all right we have filled up an inventory that actually only took me like literally three minutes but you're going to have to run to the bank bank all the sapphires and then so let's just say this is going to take you roughly five minutes if we go into the price checker here as you can see we just made 6k profit in five minutes now depending on your speed you're probably going to range from around 60 to 100k per hour this is a very this is a really good method if your cash stack is pretty low and you just want to get a cheap and quick way to actually kind of to kind of cheese the store here and just go to the grand exchange and sell them when you're done for method four we're going to be doing gold rings this is another very solid money maker that's actually only gotten better since the margin has become way higher you're going to need five crafting for this method which is simply obtainable doing like sheep shear quest and then training a few crafting levels but once you have five crafting and a pretty small cash stack it does not require that much go to the grand exchange and buy something called a ring mold after purchasing a ring mold with the rest of the cash, you're going to want to buy all the gold bars that you can with the rest of your money. Currently, as a recording, the gold bars are going for 64 each, and we're going to be turning these into gold rings at the Edgeville Furnace, which is located just, just west of the Grand Exchange. We're going to be using this furnace right here, which free-to-play members can use, and there's a bank right beside it, and we're going to be crafting gold rings. As you can see right now a gold ring is going for around 136 gp which is actually over double what the gold bar costs so you're going to be doubling your investment into the gold bars and you're going to be training some crafting once you're at the edgeville bank just put all of your bars in there and have the ring mold on you take out a full inventory come to the furnace click smell and just start making gold rings this is exactly one inventory per minute and currently as the margin stands you're making around 72 gp per ring you craft times that by 27 you're looking at around 1.9 to 2k per inventory i'm just going to round this up to 2000 gp profit per inventory which means this method right now is a steady 120 000 gp this is also another great a where you can just be like barely playing the game you're getting crafting xp and you're making 120k gp per hour without further ado let's move on to the fifth and last money making method of this video and for the final method, what we're going to be doing is filling jugs with water. Now, I wasn't going to do this because it used to be bot infested and it actually completely ruined the moneymaker. But I looked up jug of water and I realized it's actually recovered greatly. This used to only be worth like 10 GP. But now since the bots got destroyed, there's actually a really good margin. So what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be buying as many jugs as possible. You can actually do this with anything over a 1000 cash stack. I would say this is a really good money maker for just getting some early GP. So I'm going to be doing this with just 1000 GP, which can get you 250 jugs right now. You're going to take these over to Edgeville, the same location we were doing the gold rings, because right there, there's actually a water source right beside the bank. Once you've deposited all of your jugs, pull out a full inventory and you're going to run to the kitchen just east of here and you're going to use them on the sink. Don't try to use them on the well on the way here. It would be nice, but unfortunately, if you drop your jug down there, you don't think you'll get it back. But as you can see, the jugs fill up extremely quickly, and you're gonna see the price of this one inventory alone is already your investment returned back to you plus 92 GP. So every single inventory 
is actually 1k, and each inventory takes roughly 30 seconds or less. This would mean you could do 120 inventories in the hour, which means that now filling jugs of water is actually around 120,000 GP per hour. It used to literally only be like 40k an hour or 30k an hour when the bots were doing this, but now it's way more. So Jagex actually made a huge change and now this moneymaker has actually been reborn, which is really, really nice. Go fill some jugs, boys. And that's going to be it for the five best free to play money makers 2021. This is probably going to be a part one. I'll probably do more down the road. If I miss something and you guys want to share your ways of making money in free to play for the new players, leave it in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.